Well, welcome back everyone. We are back here at the tree we had to drop a couple of videos back due to the armorilla virus or oak tree virus. And today I have brought the new workbench down and the new portable chainsaw mill. And I am going to see if I can actually get some material out of this. I am hoping my chainsaw is big enough to actually cut through it as far as having enough power and things like that. As well as lifting something this heavy and getting it up onto the workbench that we have built in order to mill our own material here. So it looks like I'm going to get at least a 10 foot log out of this and maybe even a 12 footer. So what I have to do first is I want to get it lifted up and get some rounds underneath it. We're going to use the winch and pull that up onto the workbench for us. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy the video. This should be fun. I hope it works. Thanks for watching. Now this guy is heavy. And all I have to do is get it up far enough to get that round underneath it. Make sure our jack doesn't pull away from us. Just a little more if we can get it. Boy, that's a lot of weight. I don't want to get my feet underneath it or anything like that. Jack's more than capable of lifting it as long as we don't get it into much of a bind. more than capable of lifting it up. I just have to get it to the right spot. There we go. Okay. One more. Now I'm being careful here. This thing wants to fall. I'm going to let it go. Just like that. Perfect. Strap out of the way. There we go. And this thing is handy for this kind of work. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I think if I trim this limb off back here in the back, I should be able to have enough counterbalance there to lift and just spin it right onto this other log. We'll see how it works. That'll give us enough levers now so we can swing it on to our other round down there. It should center up for us a little better now. There we go. My goodness, that dude is heavy. Now I'm going to go ahead and block off all the firewood off of this end and try to get this thing trimmed up to where we can roll it up on our bench. And one of the reasons when I cut this tree down that I decided to mill this is because it's perfect. Uh, all the way through, I haven't found a hollow spot in it. And I was assuming due to that uh, tree virus that the bugs have probably already gotten into the inside of that. This thing's been setting up in the air uh, pretty much dead now for about four years. 
but it looks like it's going to make a really good saw log and we're going to trim this end up and then see if we can get this thing up on the bench. We've lightened her up a little bit. see I mean the center of the tree still looks good and healthy that's gonna make some good lumber and it's also going to make some nice firewood too get this guy square just about in the center so I had a dead cedar tree down there I was able to cut some runners off of and I think what I'm going to do is stick these guys underneath here scoot her bench back a little bit All right, so we got our cedar logs up here for some runners, and I've got them secured to the bench with a strap. Bring the mule up, get the winch out. Try it right there, and if I have to reposition, I will. I can back the mule up a little bit. Okay. The mule's earning its money today. Now I could mill this down on the ground, but I want to get it up to where it's a little more comfortable. That way, specifically for my first time using this mill, I kind of see what's going on and keep from having to be down on the ground too much too. And I've said it before, you never know what you're gonna see on this channel. <laughs> we'll try it once and learn from it, right? Alright, I put a few rounds, a couple of rounds underneath the front tires for chalks and we're pretty secure here and I've got you guys moved back. Let's see what's going to happen first. Okay, we're 
we're sliding a little bit. We'll go ahead and bring it on up a little more. Hey, that's peeling the bark off of there too. <laughs> that ain't too bad. Let that lift it up. Okay. Now I'm going to see if I can move this other end. Kind of pulling it up at an angle. No, nope, I better go ahead and just winch it. I don't want it rolling past and going towards the mule. I want you to look at that. Perfect. <laughs> We've got it up here. <laughs> Oh boy, that is a log. Wow. Well, that plan worked, guys. I'll tell you, the mule, I have found more uses for this thing than I ever thought possible. The workbench is more than stable. I think we're ready to set the mill up on this thing. There is no daylight underneath this. And other than a few chain marks where I had stopped, I mean, guys, that, that looks great. And it's level. Of course, the workbench has a lot to do with that. So we had a three-win day today. The mule pulling this log up onto the workbench. That was perfect. The workbench itself. And the third win was the chainsaw mill itself. This... Uh, this really was fun to do. And you know I've lived up to my word. You never know what you're going to see on our channel. And that should make it fun for you guys. I know you don't want to see the same thing over and over again, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.